Hello, everyone. My name is Andrew Merluzzi, and I am in the Technology Division of the Development, Democracy, and Innovation Bureau at USAID. Under the Digital Research and Learning Agenda, which is part of the USAID Digital Strategy, our team has been building a new resource called the Digital Ecosystem Evidence Map, or the DEEM for short. So what is the DEEM? The DEEM is basically a repository of evidence about digital development and about digital ecosystems throughout the world. So it covers digital development programming, you know, activities and evaluations, but it also covers overall trends in digital ecosystems. So that all makes sense, but who is the DEEM meant for? Why would you, why would you use it? Why would you seek it out? Well, one important reason you might use the DEEM is that it's an easy place to find up-to-date relevant evidence as you are designing programs or projects. So in other words, it kind of allows you to do your work more effectively by designing your projects based on good evidence. So I'm gonna demonstrate a few different use cases for the DEEM today, based on some of the users that we think are most likely to find this tool valuable. So to start, let's imagine I'm overseeing or implementing projects about maternal health. I'd wanna look for the best available evidence from previous interventions. And because I wanna look for rigorous studies on this, I'm gonna start by filtering for advanced under level of evidence. So this is only gonna give me things like randomized controlled trials or, or other studies with rigorous methodology. And because I'm interested in maternal health, I'll just type that into the search bar here. So here's a couple of evaluations on this topic. One about a mobile phone intervention to support maternal health in Uganda and another from Mexico. So let's say I'm working in East Africa. I'll learn more about this study from Uganda. So here I can see more about the study. I can read the abstract. I can learn how the study was categorized in the DEEM. And I can click here to go through to the original website hosting the study. In this case, it was a digital health journal. So there we go, right? I've learned a little bit more about digital health interventions in this region of the world and on this topic. And I can use that information to design programs that are based on that evidence. So back to the DEEM. Let's reset all the filters here and explore another topic. This time I'm gonna select evidence map. So let's say I'm not interested in any particular region, but instead I'm in a technical office seeking to learn more about different policies related to digital finance in agriculture, let's say. So here I might select government or policy report and look specifically for preliminary evidence. So these would be things like white papers or working papers or reports based on expert opinion. And because I'm interested in agriculture, I can scroll down here and look for the intersection of digital finance and agriculture. So here's the study that might be relevant focused on digital payments in agribusiness in Africa. So if I click on that, again, I can read the abstract um, to go to the resource. Um, and if I want, I can copy and paste the, the URL here and just send that to a colleague. Or if I wanna give that colleague a sense of how I found this resource, I can go back to the DEEM and copy the entire search scheme that I just used um, so they can continue to explore similar resources. Okay, let's do one more. This time, let's imagine I work in a regional office in Latin America and supporting primary education is a big priority for us in the coming years. So I'd like to know what the latest peer reviewed research is on interventions on the, in that area. So here I can go up and filter just by region. I can select just peer reviewed articles and then I can use the search bar to look for education interventions. So here are 12 that might be relevant for me. Let's just click on this first one about integrating information and communication technologies to support language learning in Colombian preschools. So again, I can read the abstract, I can click through to the full document. The last thing I'll point out here is this piece at the bottom. So we're just building this tool now, and it includes resources published in the last few years. But if there are important resources that you think we haven't captured or you know things you'd suggest we add, we would love to hear from you. Um, and at the same time, one thing we'd like to do eventually, and would love to hear from you on this as well by submitting feedback through the DEEM, is that we want to include even more information about new and ongoing projects so we can kind of begin to capture useful learnings in real time. So we'll finalize and publish this tool in the coming months. You'll be able to find it on our website. But if you want to learn more in the meantime about what we're up to, you can find more info at usaid.gov or by emailing digitaldevelopment at usaid.gov or by following USAID Digital on Twitter. Thanks.